Hello, follow me on my journey of the Grand Cayman Islands. In this video, I will show you some of the cool things and places you can see while visiting. Now, the Grand Cayman Islands consist of three separate islands, Grand Cayman, Cayman Brock, and Little Cayman, and are approximately 180 miles northwest of Jamaica and south of Cuba. Now, we landed into Georgetown at the airport and rented a car. And as you can see, you drive on the left-hand side of the road like any other British territory. And it's a little sketchy at times, and you're pulling in and out of places and hitting those roundabouts. But you'll get used to it after a while. Now, you're going to have to take your license either to the police station or at the car rental place. You can get a temporary driver's license, and that's going to cost you $20. They know how to get that money out of you. So we were heading out on the south side of the, of the island. And on the main road here going east to our hotel. Now the, uh, the, the island's only 22 miles long and 8 miles wide. has about a 60 foot elevation and has a large bay right in the center of it. So there isn't a whole lot of land mass and this is the biggest of the three islands. The other two islands are approximately 75 and 90 miles to the east. So I'm going to pop up a map here and show you the island itself. And the Grand Caymans are known mainly for their scuba and for their snorkeling. It is amazing. So on this map here, you see Georgetown in that lower left side at the airport there. And we got on that main road there on that south side and followed it right around all the way over to the east side right there. We stayed at Moritz Tortuga Club. And uh, it was pretty nice. There's an aerial shot there several pools and of course the ocean is amazing and we stayed right there in that room pretty amazing so i'm going to take some shots so look how clear that water is it's amazing and i'm going to go underwater here in just a second and uh, swim around a little bit and show you all the fish and uh it is just awesome plenty of fish everywhere. But there's plenty of other things you can do while you're here in the Caymans. The main thing, I guess the biggest thing for me was going out to Stingray City. That's uh, on a sandbar out in the bay where you get to uh, basically frolic with uh, stingrays. They're all over the place. Quite large too. But if you scuba um, this is an awesome place to do it. There is a Russian frigate that was uh, sunk off the coast here that you could go out and scuba around. There's also uh, like some underwater caves and stuff that you can do as well. There's plenty of boat trips for sightseeing tours. Um, you have Smith Cove, you have Rum Point, you have Starfish Point, uh, you have the Cayman Crystal Caves, you have uh, the Queen Elizabeth II Botanical Park. I'm going to have plenty of pictures of that. Uh, and if you like beer, well, there's the Cayman Island Brewery as well. There's the Mastic Trail, and that's, that's really nice too if you like to go out there. Horseback riding. You have the Dolphin Discovery. You can also, uh, you have the Cayman Turtle Farm. We went there. I'm going to show you some pictures of that as well. Uh, it's amazing. The, the Green Sea Turtle was endangered. And they've taken it upon themselves to um, get as many of these turtles as they can to reproduce in captivity. And they raise these turtles and they put them back out into the ocean, back out into the wild. And uh, it's just amazing the conservation that they've been doing with the green sea turtle. See all these fish? Unbelievable. But we got on a uh, charter boat and... Uh, it was rough that day. We went out to Stingray City. We went out to Starfish Point. And I'm going to show you some of that here in just a second. We get out of the water here. And it's just, uh, we had beautiful weather. Bright blue skies and bright blue-green water. See right here we're out at Starfish Point. And I'm going to show you some of these starfish. There's a little bit of like a sandbar here on the end. Uh, out there on the point and these red starfish they're they're quite large actually they're about eight ten inches in diameter and uh, they're all over the place and it's quite amazing how fast they move around they don't look like they're moving when you're just sitting there looking at them but if you walk away and come back you know five minutes later or so they, they've moved and uh, you don't want to take them out of the water and 
and hurt any of the health or endanger any of the health of the starfish. So if you do pull them up for any pictures, you got to be really quick and uh, put them back in the water. Look at those starfish. Isn't that amazing? We also, uh, after that, we went over to Stingray City. That's just the Stingray uh, sandbar out in the bay. And look at that. They're, they're amazing. They're huge. And you can handle them. You can touch them. Uh, they're just, I guess they're just used to people. I don't know. But it, it's something that you'll live with the rest of your life if you ever go out there and experience this. Just look at it. Just, a, just swimming right through the water. Just as calm as can be. And they have their stingers on their tails too. Now the guides on the boats will get in the water for you and they will get the stingrays and bring them up for you to touch and also to hold because you can actually hold them right up to the top of the water in your arms and lift them out, you know, lift them up to the top of the water. They're really soft on the bottom. The tops are a little sandpaperish, I guess, you know, more rough. But the bottoms are just as smooth and as soft as could be. Let's look at that. Amazing. I don't know anywhere else where you can do this, but you can do it here. And you're just flapping right along the top of the water. Isn't that cool? It is worth going to the Cayman Islands just, just for these stingrays, in my opinion. There's a lot of things you can do here. You also have the Seven Mile Beach. It's on the west side of the island. I actually lost two miles somewhere because it's really only five miles long. But uh, big, uh, wide, white sand beaches over there. That's where the big hotels and the high rises are. And uh, we'll go over there and I'll show you some pictures of there. Here is the Cayman Turtle Farm. And these are the green sea turtles. And they have the large pools and they have the smaller pools where they have the smaller turtles. And uh, you get right in there and, and touch them. I wouldn't say they're friendly. You got to be careful with the big ones because uh, they could really hurt you. But the smaller ones here, you can uh, pick them up and you can touch them and you can pet them. It's really neat. Look at the size of that turtle. Isn't that amazing? And they had the large pool. There's just several of them. They're all over the place. And it's a great thing that they're getting these uh, back up and putting them back out into the wild. Here's at Dolphin Discovery. There's a big old iguana sitting up on the wall. And uh, the dolphins, well, you know dolphins, they're, they're really nice. You can get right in there and swim with them. They do tricks and they'll pull you around and they'll, they'll push you. And as you see here, you're on a on a, a little board and uh, push right across the pool there. I guess they get fed quite well. They do tricks for food, just like a dog. And here's the Cayman Island Post Office. It's pretty old. You see there, it has 1939 on it. This is out at Rum Point. There's a nice dock out there you can walk out on, but it's pretty shallow out, pretty deep, out pretty far, I guess you'd say, and uh, you can snorkel and, and uh, just swim and carry on. It's really nice over there. It's on the east, around the east side, and then I guess on the northeast side. Here's the wreck of the Ten Gales. Queen Elizabeth II came out in February 1994, and they erected that. And this was a house uh, right across from it. It looked like a little castle. And here's the Botanical Park. Uh, I have quite a few pictures here from this. If you like uh, tropical foliage and trees and flowers and all that stuff, and there's a lot of animals out here too running around, uh, this is the place to go. This is amazing. There's a woodpecker there. Caught him up in the tree. Uh, just, it was just beautiful, beautiful flowers. Just look at that. Isn't that amazing? And this takes quite a bit of time out here. You know, of course it's going to be hot and you're going to be sweating, but it's it's worth it. They have some pools and there's turtles out there and there's iguanas all over the place. This is a big iguana they had there. Some of the biggest iguanas I've ever seen were in this park. And uh, probably every tropical plant possible and tree, at least everything that they can possibly get is, is here. So it's worth to see and uh, experience and take as many pictures as you can because you could take them with you. There's some lilies. They were in bloom as well. It's amazing how many different plants they have in here. And this is just a, a very small sampling of how many pictures I took in the botanical park. There's worms on there. It's kind of weird. And there 
a tree frog up on top of him, up in the eave like of one of the buildings. There's some banana trees. And some kind of a cactus that was flaring at. That was pretty nice. You got the palm trees. Got some bamboo growing in here around this little pool. And we are back at the beach. So if you're ever thinking of going to the Cayman Islands, uh, it is a little pricey. You have a head tax and you have uh, electric tax you're going to pay. And they get you uh, in many, many different ways. But uh, this is Seven Mile Beach here. It is, uh, it's a nice vacation. I'd say it's worth it just to get out there with the stingrays and the turtles and those things. And of course, you can always head to Margaritaville. A good vacation. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh.